breaking out. So uh, if you are smoking a cigarette, please be sure that they're properly extinguished and disposed of correctly. Now I've been talking about Navy Wings already. The chance of winning a custom edition R9T BMW Superbike. You can go to the Navy Wings merchandising stand to see that bike and buy a ticket. If you can't get to the stand today, you can so online at NavyWings.com. 19, Yeovil 7, 1, 9. If you're heading down towards hangars 6 and 7, numerous frontline aircraft from today's Royal Navy are available for close-up view in the Maritime Aviation Capability Exhibition, the base displays, as we call them. They include a full-scale Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II model. You're able to access the cockpit of that. And there are other industry exhibitors there showcasing the technology and equipment being used by the Royal Navy. Indeed, the first very exciting aeroplane in the rest of this afternoon's programme, taxiing out now on the far side of the airfield. I'll tell you more about that in due course. You won't want to miss it. You won't be able to miss it, given the very distinctive noise produced that we're left behind after the race around the USA, carrying out many memorable demonstrations. After all of that effort, it was just reward that the US Marine Corps ordered the AVA-A model of the Harrier during 1978. started to receive the new EAV-8B model and from 1996 the B plus that we see here in from the right there the newer carrier twos gave the Spanish Navy a night and all weather attack capability. Since 2013, with the decommissioning of the Principe de Asturias, they've flown from a landing helicopter dock, LHD ship, the Juan Carlos I. Their primary mission is to provide Spanish naval forces with the capability to attack surface targets from the air. They also perform close air support missions and other air-to-ground tasks, carrying up to 12,000 pounds of ordnance on seven weapon stations that augmenting the 25mm Gatling gun. Next pass, from the left, with an aileron roll. We'll see the aircraft pitching into a max performance turn. The Spanish carriers employ both laser and GPS guided weapons from 500 to 2,000 pounds plus short, medium range air to air missiles. And the pilots wear night vision goggles to afford them that night and all weather capability. The pilots who belong to the night Esquadrilla are all graduates of the five year Spanish Naval Academy course. When they graduate, they spend two years on a ship after which they can be chosen to specialize as naval aviators. All of the Spanish pilot training is done by the US Navy. They start on the T-6 Texan II at Naval Air Station Pensacola in Florida. They then move on to the T-45 Goshawk at Naval Air Station Meridian, Mississippi. And their training, if they're successful, culminates in that all-important first carrier trap landing on a conventional aircraft carrier in the T-45C model 
to the stall short takeoff and landing position and the aircraft coming through at 300 feet at a speed of just 80 knots. The four thrust vectoring nozzles can be orientated between 0 and 98 degrees. They're controlled manually by the pilot using a separate lever next to the throttle. And the Harrier also has hot air driven controls on the nose, the tail and the wingtips to give the pilot better control at low air speeds flown by both RAF and Navy pilots were heavily engaged in Afghanistan from 2004 to 2009, as were US Marine Corps AV-8Bs. Hit them at the slow at 80 knots.